In this video I will cover circle terminology to make sure we understand uh, the same uh, concepts when we discuss later calculations involving circles. So let's get started with this tape. I know compasses are so much nicer but unfortunately uh, compasses uh, can't accommodate a pen and if I did a pencil line it just doesn't show well. Believe me I tried it. So I just eyeball the middle of the circle, something like that. There, now this shows well. Okay, a circle has a middle. That middle is typically marked with an O. That's not a zero, that's an O. And it stands for the word origin. Because that is where the circle uh, originates from. What they mean by this concept that from this point, all points along the edge of the circle here are the same distance away. That's what makes a circle. Now, we can connect any of these points on the outside of the circle to the origin. And when we do that, we just connect, uh, we just made a radius, a radius here. Now the word radius just means ray like that and there is uh, I could have uh, connected the origin to the edge of the circle here or here or here or here or at any point there is an infinite number of combinations possible I'll just do another one here so now we have two radii radius and, uh, and the plural is radii like so that's two eyes in it, okay? Now, this area here between these two radii is a sector. That's a circle sector. That's the area between these two radii here. This edge of the circle is normally called circumference. It's a Latin combo. It's not called a perimeter. It's not called the edge. It's not called the outside. It's just called the circumference of the circle, okay? Now, uh, I can connect two points on the circumference of the circle without going through the origin of the circle, like so. And if I do so, I just drew a chord. Okay, this is a chord in a circle. This area here, enclosed between the chord and the circumference, is the segment. A segment in a circle. I want to draw a special line here, and I'm just I'm trying to make it square because it's important. How about how about one here? Uh, there, this line here that I drew, uh, that is just barely touching the circumference, is actually contacting the circumference at only one point, and this call this line is called a. Uh, tangent, a tangent line, meaning it's just touching the circle, that's what it means in Latin, like a tangible thing is, uh, has to do with touch. And it is important that a tangent line is always square to a radius, but because there is a, an infinite amount of radii possible in the circle just anywhere, just like spokes on a wheel, there is also, consequently, an infinite amount of tangent lines possible on a circle. So you can draw one anywhere. The last one is a special line. Uh, we connected here any two lines on the outside, <coughs> on the circumference of the circle, but if we connect two points of the circle that 
and let go through the origin. Say I was going for that one there. If it goes through the origin and connects two points along the circumference of the circle, then we have a Greek word for it. Diameter, measured across. That's what it means, diameter. A diameter is going across from the circumference of the circle to the other to another point on the circumference of the circle and also goes through the origin. If it doesn't go through the origin, it's only a chord. So that would be basic circle terminology and uh, uh, they are needed in uh, circle calculations coming up.